if you want to try it a little differently, if you have something to sit on and you want to bend your knees back, so basically you'll put your pillow or block between your feet and bring your knees together and sit back. This can be a nice change. Make sure that um, it doesn't feel like it's too intense. You might feel this in your knees, but that can be okay. Our knees sometimes need to go into hyperflexion to increase their mobility. You might feel this in the tops of your feet as well. So find your own opening position. <sighs> And just take a moment to check in with yourself, to notice what are you working with this morning? You know, when what, just when we thought things couldn't get more intense, um, the heat is rising. And when we resist the intensity, sometimes that can make it worse. So again, I don't like to make assumptions about how folks are impacted by COVID, by what's happening politically. We're all impacted differently. So in your own way, I want you to check in with how you want to work with what's going on in the moment. Do you need to surrender a little bit and just accept what's going on so that you can deal with it? Have you been overwhelmed? Do you need to kind of step back a little bit? Can you even step back a little bit? So just check in with yourself and your relationship to this global and national trauma, the trauma of COVID, the trauma of white supremacy culture and conspiracies, the trauma of Donald Trump. Um, and again, Donald Trump is just the personification of this collective trauma of dominator culture. And so, you know, as most of you know, I am a trauma therapist and one of my favorite phrases is post-traumatic growth, post-traumatic growth. And this understanding that trauma doesn't have to break us, that very often on the other side of trauma, we see that individuals and communities are stronger than ever. They're better than ever. So for me, I'm trying to think about the possibility of post-traumatic growth in this moment. That's what gets me through. Am I going to see it in my lifetime? I don't know. Um, but my hope is that in future generations, these years create a shift towards better culture, better community, better ways of being together. So if that's useful, post-traumatic So just go inside and see what's present for you. What do you need in your practice today? Do you need to move energy? Do you need to get grounded? Do you need to release and let go? Set your own intention. And let's deepen our breath together. I want you to get super grounded. Be aware of your grounding. And as you breathe, let's imagine pulling the Earth's energy up into our bodies. And as you exhale, imagine the breath streaming through your whole body. So you inhale the breath up, maybe let it go up into your heart. And as you exhale, move this heart energy through your body. I'm thinking a lot about how we can let these days, these times, crack our hearts open beyond what we ever dreamed? How do we let the grief, the rage, whatever is coming up, ultimately open us up to love better and bigger than ever before? That is our post-traumatic growth opportunity. 